Fieldward has answered the call. I should join Finia in our forward camp. Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Hmm. No. Perhaps later.
Right, let's get back to the ship. Stretch your wings, Sunan. wrong.
must be blocked from the other side. Perhaps some pretty flowers will get her to open the door. Aid me, be my eyes. Now you have lured me in. Explain yourself. It's just been a while since anyone passed this way, and I wanted to be sure you would stay and visit. By pretending to be a pretty young maid. My mother used to tell me stories. Legends of a forgotten king. Of magic swords rising from misty lake waters. There was often a fair maiden, lonely and locked away. I fell in love with that sweet fantasy. So much more romantic than a pathetic man, whiling away the hours until death. A sad shadow play. So where is your mother now? Dead. These last three years and buried under the flowers she loved. I wanted to move on, but I cannot bear to leave her. Your mother would not want you to be so love-starved. Leave this house of grief. You are right. She was always so happy, laughing and singing. It would break her heart to see me so forlorn. I'll not let sentimentality be the shackles of my soul. I will find work in the village, even meet a girl, and start my own family. And tell them stories of magic heroes and fair maidens. Thank you, stranger. You have given me a glimpse of a sweeter life. This was hers. Take it, for it saddens me to look on. I hope you find what you're looking for. Farewell. I'm glad you stopped by. It brought me some comfort. Oh. 
Dawn came from Elmenham. Baldis must have got to them. The Brothers Fleet, gathered and ready. Can we really do this? We're just farmers and merchants. Have faith, brother. God protects Finally. the righteous. Put my long ship to use again. I was tired of it gathering dust. Our ships are sturdy, but Berg's walls are sturdy. This plan of Finners is mad. Sir Vartsuda. Eivor! Word of your actions in Theoborn has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burg Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. This land you call home is on the verge of ruin. Burned and pillaged by Ruid's clan, it bears the scars of an age of endless war. But today, we will reclaim her. Today we fight for your land, and tomorrow we rebuild! For East Anglia. For East Anglia. For East Anglia. Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruid's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. Maybe they are one and the same. the flaming sea steed, rushing to the spear The a watcher alive and waters wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves, ruined shit stains will see us coming. Oh! 
halted. Steady. Hold calls. Ready yourselves to brace, men. We bring Helheim to our enemies. How nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air. Arrows! Brace! Odin's hell! And the sword maidens take them swiftly.
Our battle plan has legs! Keep the pressure! Battle is not yet won, Oswald. Today. This land is rife with madness. 
and you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing a little fire cannot burn. Fighting for a Saxon king? The Saxons will scorn this! They should be ruled, Wolfkist. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them! Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in! Danes, fight for a Saxon king! The Sagas will scorn this day! I will enjoy this! Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon! He has an abundance that which you do not. He is fit to rule. This will leave. You are not but a murderous plunderer. Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor. Including you. Thank you. I should speak with Oswald. See if he's well. It's finished! To the ship! Praise the old father! Oswald lives! You fight well, heathen. Not bad yourself, Saxon. <laughs> what do you see?